This is the Sun Valley Kitchen. My name is Vivi and this is the last cooking class in December of 2021. Can you believe it? We have been cooking for a whole year together and I think that is amazing. So today we are bringing you one more recipe. I have been listening to your feedback and your little surveys and we have, yes, another sweet dessert to finish 2021. This is the holiday season and there's all these celebrations and if you're one that still makes cookies for Santa, this is like the perfect one. We are making no bake cookies. That means that you don't need a stove, you don't need an oven, you just need a few ingredients to make this protein packed, really yummy, very easy to make cookies so that you can just make them today, put them in the fridge or the freezer, wait until Christmas day, or maybe you just don't want to wait, you can eat them right away. So, are you ready to make these delicious little cookies? Okay, let's do this. So here is a clear zipper bag where we are going to add, first of all, the nuts. And then my oats. These oats are exactly what you use to make oatmeal, okay? Do you see how they're in there? So what we are going to do is we're going to try and take as much air out of the bag and use a zipper to close it very very tight see i don't know if you can hear it but it sounds like a click 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 that means that your bag is closing and with my other hand i'm scrunching it up so that most of the air gets out if i leave a lot of air in the bag what's going to happen is when i start crushing the nuts the bag is going to pop and everything's going to go everywhere and we want to prevent that so as you can see it's like a little tight right there okay and this is gonna be great so that I can crunch these up and get them ready for my delicious holiday cookie. Ready? Okay, let's do the next step. My no nuts and the oats are in the bag. I have a flat surface and I also have something with a flat bottom. So what I will do is I will set this on the counter and gently just, you know, using your own strength, start crushing them just a little bit so that instead of using a knife to chop it, you can do this. We have used this technique before. You wanna kinda, you know, move them around the bag and then start, ooh, crunching them down like that. Okay. Do you hear all the cracks? Okay. And then you move them around the back again so that it's like a little bit more distributed. And as you can see, there's also like little pieces already taking shape in there. Spread it out using your fingers and keep on crushing them until you feel like most of the nuts are at least in half, see? If not like in a couple of pieces and this is a little bit less chunky and more of the same texture. As you can see, my smaller pieces. So the next step is for me to open the bag up and it's super simple. I will add some semi-sweet chocolate chips and these are very, very little. We chose semi-sweet so that they're not as sweet because we are going to add honey. They go in your bag. Next, we have chia seeds, those little tiny seeds that are a superfood. They're really good for you and they're just gonna give the right texture to our little cookies. They go in. And because it's the holidays, of course, we want some real sprinkles and holiday spirit. So we're just gonna put all of these in here. So I am mixing all my dry ingredients. I am going to close the zipper again, take a little bit of the air out. And I am just gonna make sure that all of this mixes together. It looks like almost like a super yummy trail mix, okay? There we go. I'm testing, this recipe calls for almond butter. You can also use sunflower butter or peanut butter, any butter you want. We are using this little handy dandy packets because it's just kind of hard to measure. But if you have one of these, 
This is vanilla. It could be just a regular flavor. You need to make sure you knead it really well and warm it up so that all of the different ingredients get incorporated. This is a really fun recipe where you're using your fingers, you're using your, you know, your little sensory things at the end of your hands to make sure that your hands tell you when it's ready. So I will say maybe count to maybe a minute or when your hand tells you that this is warmed up and it's all mixed together, it's when we're gonna be ready and I think we are. So I am going to try and squeeze as much from the top, okay? And then open the packet up. And as I open, I am going to open the bag with my dry ingredients, okay? I'm just rolling it down so that it doesn't become super sticky. And I am going to spread the almond butter inside. Again, use your fingers to kind of spread all of that out. And I'm trying for my almond butter to go all the way down to the bottom of the bag so that it doesn't stick on the sides, okay? So, Get all the almond butter in there. Make sure your fingers tell you when your packet is totally empty. It should be flat like a pancake, but even flatter than a pancake. Maybe flat like a little card, like a baseball card. Okay, do you see how all of the almond butter is there? Perfect. Now my other wet ingredient is going to be honey. Now for the honey, um, we are going to add about a quarter of a cup and this little container is exactly that measure so i already pre-measured my honey over here that's a quarter of a cup of honey and i will do the same thing i will add it into the mixture and again i'm trying to make sure it hits to the bottom of it so that it doesn't get like super duper sticky but all of the cookie dough stays at the bottom okay and I can always use my finger to scrape everything off because of course my hands are super clean. Okay, so I'm making sure all of the honey goes in there. And I will, after touching honey, you always wanna wash your fingers again. You gotta wash your hands really well with soap and water. Otherwise you're gonna have sticky honey on everything. And we don't wanna touch anything with sticky hands. So sticky fingers, Go for a wash and then we'll come back to finish our cookie. Testing, testing. So I have my dry and wet ingredients inside of the bag. Okay. I have my wet and dry ingredients inside of the bag. I will now close my bag up. Again, trying to make sure all the stickiness stays inside of the bag, okay? Just take out a little bit of air again. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and mix it in like this. Okay, make sure everything is incorporated and everything is just one cookie dough, all right? So I want my peanut butter, I mean, sorry, my almond butter to be mixed in, the honey to be mixed in, all the nuts and the sprinkles and the chocolate chips. And as you're seeing, I'm kind of sliding it back on its bag. You can also put everything in a bowl and mix it with a spoon if that's easier. However, we're trying to reuse this bag as many times as we can, and then you don't get super messy, ha messy hands at the beginning. You just get them at the end when we roll out the little yummy cookies. Okay, so if you see some dry spots at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, but my bag has like some dry spots, then make sure you keep on like pushing it inside and then pushing it outside and making sure your honey your almond butter, the nuts, the mini chocolate chips, and everything is literally just perfectly mixed together. And this is a great way to make cookie dough that you can eat right away. It doesn't have eggs. It doesn't have anything that's, you know, not really good for you when it's raw. We're not going to bake these. These are going to be just like stuck in the freezer for a second. And then they can last up to three weeks if you keep them on the freezer. They're just delicious. They're perfect for the holidays. And maybe you can make some for Santa Claus. Maybe he needs a healthy option this holiday season. All right, all my dough looks like it's all mixed together and it looks super yummy. Now we are going to assemble the cookies. You follow? Okay, let's do it. Testing, testing. So now we have 
small liners that are kind of like make for cupcakes or different sweets. I have some of them already in here. And now, here you go, here's my mix. I am going to roll it up like a sleeve, okay? And then you need two spoons. I'm using metal spoons, but you can use any spoons. And what you are going to do is you're gonna take about a teaspoon out, right? So about fill it up and then you're gonna use the other spoon to drop it inside of the liner like this. Okay, that is one. And I think I may have enough. See, there's a second one over there. You can also roll these and make them into little balls, but we're just calling them like little drop cookies. Number two. And then again, I'm scooping out from the bag, trying to make sure that all of them look about the same amount, the same quantity. Okay, two, three, and let's see. I actually think I have more than enough for, quite more than that, like the fourth one that I have right here. And what you do is you continue on building on your cookies. If you wanna make them bigger, you can always add a little bit more to the ones that you already built. Um, and again, as I said, you can, let's see, let's try like a little bit of a bigger amount but drop it little by little inside of the paper so that the container kind of stays still and that you have a gorgeous little drop cookie that is gonna be ready for the holidays, for Santa, for you, for your friends. Okay, and this is how you keep on assembling cookies. So as you can see, we have enough dough for six of our yummy cookies. I have a little bit left in my bag, so I want to make sure that all of my cookies are kind of like the same size so that they're just even and we don't waste anything. So what I am doing is looking at which cookies are a little bit smaller and then adding more dough to the smaller cookies. So I'm just going to add a little bit more and I'm using the same technique all throughout where I'm using both spoons, one spoon to scoop it out and the other one to scoop it in, sorry, and the other one to scoop it out. So maybe this one needs a little bit more. And see, this is why we try to put the nuts in a smaller size so that it's easier to do this. And you can make smaller ones if you want to. You can have a bigger cookie size. Um, but I think this is just like perfect little six little cookies. Okay, don't those look delicious? So these are ready. Okay, so I have a plate. If you can put them in the freezer, that is great. Oop, there's a little piece that stuck to my finger. I just put it back. If you don't have a freezer, you can eat them right away. You can let them sit for about 10 minutes and then you can put them in the refrigerator if you want to. But these are ready and then I will go to the freezer and we'll see you soon. Testing, testing. So these have been in the freezer for about 15 minutes. As you can see, what putting them in the freezer or refrigerator does is that it hardens them and they're not super sticky, they're just harder to the touch and they are ready to what? Taste test. So let's see, I will take this little guy and see how all the layers are in there. You have your nuts, you have your candy, the chocolate. It's just like super happy and festive. Are you ready? Let's taste together. Mmm. Oh my goodness. These are so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. The bittersweet chocolate is just barely there. The chia seeds bring stickiness to it. Sprinkles make it festive. The nuts are delicious and have so much protein. The honey just binds everything together. And the almond butter as well. These are so good, you guys. I hope you make them today and you share them with somebody you love. Starting with yourself. Have a great celebration at the end of the year. It's been so fun cooking with you for 2021 and we're looking forward to keeping on cooking on 2022. Okay, guys?